Yep, it's another dog walk. I was just thinking about a biography I'm reading at the moment. It's about uh, William Somerset Maugham, a writer I greatly admire. Maybe not as a person, I'm finding that out in the biography, whether or not I would have liked him as a person, but as a writer I certainly do. And I am reading about the early stages of his career, um, and I read that after the publication of his first book, uh, a book that was mildly successful, he had a 10 year doldrum uh, where his books didn't sell. He published, he published plays, he published short stories and he published a few books, but they didn't sell, they weren't popular. But he kept at it. He was so convinced that his job was to be a full-time writer that he just kept at it. He had the favorable circumstance um, that he had an income of 250 pounds a year uh, because his parents died young, so it's a favorable uh, circumstance that he possibly could have done without, but still. And that allowed him to, well, not that he was rich, but he had an income, something I don't have. <laughs> After those 10 years, Somerset Mom uh, started publishing uh, his books and selling his books and he became one of the richest authors in the world or one of the most successful authors in the world uh, several of his books were turned into movies he had several plays that were very successful so those 10 years didn't say a thing about his future to me it's extremely encouraging to read about a writer who has exactly the same conviction as I have which is, I am a writer, that's what I do. Whether I make a living or not, well, that's the future, for the future to decide. But that writing is something that I have to do. I can't do anything else anymore. And to recognize that in someone else gives me a lot of stimulus to accept it and to go on. So I will. And who knows? Maybe in 10 years' time, I'll be rich and famous. See you at the next dog walk. Bye.